Hey, howdy guys, Connor McCaskill here, and I'm at CES 2020, and I gotta say, it's already a crazy CES. The 1DX Mark III was just announced. I got to have some hands-on with it, and I got to talk to some Canon reps, so I got some additional information out of them about the 1DX Mark III. So without any further ado, let's jump into some specs. The Canon 1DX Mark III is featuring 5.5K raw internal recording. That's amazing. They're accomplishing this with their new Digic X, or I think they want us to call it the Digic 10 processor, which is really, really cool. So basically it's giving you that extra oomph to be able to record 5.5K raw, which is great. Also has 4K 422, a lot of numbers, 4K 422, which is oversampled and 10-bit. Oversampled just means that you're taking that 5.5K sensor and downsampling it down to 4K, which gives you a sharper, cleaner 4K, which is amazing. I really like that a lot. And of course you have 120 frames per second in 1080p for all you Peter McKinnon fans out there. So again, a great feature. This camera is really packing a ton of features. Now these video specs are amazing, but there is one small limitation. And that is when you are shooting at 60 frames per second in full frame 5.5K raw and full frame 4K 60 FPS, you will not have dual pixel autofocus. However, if you go into the crop mode, you do get dual pixel autofocus, so it's a little bit give and take, but that's really not too bad when it comes down to it. Now on the photography side of things, this camera does support a HEIF, HEIF, H-E-I-F file, which stands for High Efficiency Image Format File. <sighs> Great name. And basically that is a 10-bit photo versus JPEG, which is an 8-bit photo, which is just gonna give you higher color sampling and less artifacting, which is really, really nice. Of course, you also have RAW, which is 14 bits, so yeah, just shoot RAW. Also, the Canon 1DX Mark III is featuring 20 FPS continuous drive, which just basically means you can shoot 20 photos a second with continuous autofocus. I think that's coming up from 16 frames per second. You can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on that, but that's a nice little increase. And then of course you can shoot up to one eight thousandth of a second and up to 30 seconds for individual photos, which again is really nice. Now with all these specs out of the way, who is the 1DX Mark III for? Well, it comes in at a whopping $6,500 body only. So in short, this is definitely for professional sports photographers. When I was talking to the Canon reps, he was telling me that the 1DX Mark III is definitely a camera focused camera that just kind of so happens to shoot really dope video specs. Now it does shoot really dope video specs. So in that case, it's kind of like a really nice high end hybrid camera. So if you already have a 1DX Mark II, this is an obvious upgrade for you. Or if you're getting into higher end hybrid shooting, so you're shooting photos and video at a high professional level, this is also a good camera because as I said before, it starts at $6,500. So it's definitely not a beginner camera. Myself, I'm definitely going to skip out on the 1DX Mark III because it's kind of at too high of a price point and it definitely is more photo centric and I am more video centric. I'm hoping that the EOS R Pro is going to fulfill a lot of those video needs that I need. For instance, the 1DX Mark III does not have IBIS, so I'm hoping that IBIS will be on the EOS R Pro. And of course, there's no articulating screen, which is a huge reason why I bought the EOS R, which I'm recording on right now, which hopefully the EOS R Pro will have as well. Now there's actually a lot of specs that I'm not covering on this camera. It's definitely a feature packed camera and a ton of people have made content on it already. However, Armando Ferreira has done a video on things that no one's really talking about that might sway your opinion if you are considering buying this camera, especially since it's priced so similarly to the C200, which I think is really interesting. Now Armando will be getting this camera in the future and I will also be able to make content on the 1DX Mark III in the future. Thank you, Armando. So let me know what kind of content you would like to see from him or I. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for hanging.